right, Earl. Here we go. His opponent, the heir apparent in America. He's traveling the world, playing everywhere. Shane Van Pony. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's cool. dance. Well, welcome to the Diamond Ten Ball Ten Foot Challenge. This is a match between Shane Van Boning and Earl Strickland. We're here at Tunica, Mississippi at the Harris Casino. We got a race to $15,000 entry fee, 10000 added. And we're on 10 foot tables with four and a quarter inch pockets. I'm J.R. Calvert. Joining me in the booth is Alvin Nelson. Alvin, welcome. What an honor. Thank you, JR. Thanks for letting me here. This is great. This is it, man. This is what we traveled for. <laughs> Three times with you. <laughs> And we got Earl, uh, we got a mic out there, got it uh, cranked up so that we can hear every syllable Earl is going to say. I mm -hmm. want to thank all of our viewers tonight, uh, everybody showing up to check this out. Definitely. Jay Helfer came by and uh, told everybody to keep the score with the coins. Shane's going to get us out of the gate here. A lot of anticipation with this set. Oh, yeah. This has been amped up. We, everybody's been waiting for this. Well, they haven't played on a 10-footer in about eight months. Maybe, maybe a 10 months. Oh, you know Earl's loving this. Oh, he sure oh, is. Oh, man. He is in it. What he says. <laughs> this is the table everybody's watching, that's for sure. Well, they're packed to the rafters. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a funny shot on the one. I, I was afraid to get up out of my chair after I had, uh, you know, set the cameras and everything because I thought somebody was going to come and steal my chair. Definitely. <laughs> Chairs Definitely. are, you could probably sell a chair for 10 bucks right now. Yeah, we're packed. Got a, everybody wants a chair here. Look at how he hit this shot in there. Wow. And doink. I don't know if he hit it or not. I, I think that... Uh, it's fair to say that uh, it's not a hanger. It looks like he can hit it. down to the bottom rail. Nice touch there. Now with the, the two being there, I'd be surprised if Shane wouldn't do a little extra to go after this ball. great venue here at Harrah's. It truly is. This is every bit like a casino in Vegas. It's awesome. And Earl Strickland makes the first ball of this uh, highly anticipated match. His really, his, his big issue, the problem ball right now is going to be the five. And maybe there's a small issue on the eight. But I can foresee him easily getting past this. Oh, well, look at this. He's, he's chopped me off in the middle of my sentence only to get on the 50-yard line on the three. 
and Earl in his fashion is not happy with himself and I don't blame him. Some players actually strategize uh, that they're going to try and get Errol mad and see if he gets weaker. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. Bad mistake. That only makes him better. Yeah, it's kind of like Blazing Shadows when you shoot Mongo. <laughs> it only makes it worse. <laughs> Don't do that. It'll make him mad. <laughs> well, Shane's got a, you can tell Shane's got a ton of respect for Earl. I'm sure he was, you know, looked up to Earl. Earl, Earl's <laughs> thinking, man, I'm going to swing this ball. He may swing this. Let's see if he's going to swing it. Oh, he is. This is going to be a beautiful shot. Swing it, wow. baby. Swing it. Look at this. Earl's going to hit it perfect. Wow. And he got straight. No, just a hair off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's looking up. We used to call that the big swing. Nice. On a nine foot table, it takes a stroke. On a 10 foot table, you have to pretty much be superhuman. Earl's loving this table, man. He's been all over this thing. Well, he thinks these tables are loose. <laughs> wow. I, I think he is from another planet. He is. That gorgeous diamond 10 foot 5x10. Premiering here at uh, the Southern Classic. First time ever played on by the pros, and they're loving it. Wow. Nothing but net. I'll tell you, man, I, was, I said it a little earlier to you, but, man, I saw Earl on one of those tables, and he had that look in his eye, man. He had that look in his eye. You know which look I'm talking about. Yeah. In other words, Shane Van Boning, if this was a cartoon, he would kind of look like a, you know, steaming turkey that just came out of the oven. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Earl is ready. He may be, t he, may be uh, he seemed very calm today though very calm well this is a tight little uh he's got a funny shot here i think he'll go ahead and hit it with a little extra pace just to make sure he holds the line for the eight ball go in the, down another diamond or so wow never a doubt man that was a touchy one there buddy that's <laughs> Wasn't a tiny even tiny pocket close <laughs> oh wow earl's gonna score Strickland takes game one and leads one to nothing over Shane Van Boning. This ain't easy. <laughs> okay, Earl, tell us uh -oh. how hard it is. I'll bite. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There he goes. Strick nine. Oh, Bernie you know Rogoff's the there. Pots and pans. Here we say. Hardest table in the world. Hardest table in the world. Diamond billiard products. Taking it for granted. A tireless self-promoter on how great. You gotta understand how hard your game is. Man, we're not going to be able to plug our sponsors. Earl's going to talk between every rack and give us a lesson. I don't mind. <laughs> I know. I think our sponsors, you know, appreciate what they're they're part of. Definitely a big thanks to Diamond Billiard Products, Viking Cues, Kamui, Cyberts. Well, every now and then he gets down off his soapbox and he plays some pool. Mm -hmm. I just want to be around when he does both. Mm -hmm. This could be it. The, the breaks, the big thing. I'll tell you, the balls travel so much farther on this table that it seems like balls are hitting holes. A lot different than on the four and a half by nine. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, he's he's got to get kicked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, I can't stand this. And he kept Where's Whitey down on the table. He did actually hit it pretty good. It's just. He set Shane up with a shooting gallery. 
Yeah, he did. I mean, there's nothing that really needs to be moved here. There's no big transition, nothing crazy going on. Shane's loving this. Yeah, that's a nice little reprieve is you get mm -hmm. to let your stroke out and really come in and get get even. Mm -hmm. and that precision on the break could be a big factor in this match. Shane's precision on the 10 ball break, but it cha everything changes now. It's the 10 foot table. One of our chatters said that he thinks that Earl sleeps in the Hadron accelerator, the particle accelerator. <laughs> nice. At least I think that's what he was saying. Curious to see why he got on that side of the ball. I think he stalled it. He didn't, he didn't really put the stroke that he wanted to put in. took their places, didn't they? Yeah, it was uh, ideal for Shane here. But that that's what rotation is. You don't break them safe, you break them to run out. So if you don't make a ball on the break, or if you scratch, then you're almost guaranteeing you're, the other player gets, is gonna get make it out, especially I mean, at this level here. Sure. It's over. Very rare occasions pros make mistakes, but they do. Well, at this point here, uh, Shane can pick any side of the eight ball, mm -hmm. just about any side of the nine ball, and just about any side of the ten ball. Mm -hmm. This is interesting, though, because he now has a bridge hand that's blocked by the nine ball, or at least, you know. Yeah, he's going to have to adjust for it. Shane Van Boning ties up the score, one apiece. We're going to try and take a look at the break from the player's perspective this okay. next couple of times. And I want to see this big swooping break from be, you know, the side view from behind, mm -hmm. from this view once or twice. We had a couple of guys out in the chat uh, ask us about it. And I agree, it's a nice view to see every now and then. All right, we've got 925 viewers out there. That's pretty strong. If you get the chance, folks, by all means. Uh, We're not going to see it from here. Uh, we'll, we'll see a piece of it. You'll see. He stands up as he delivers and then decelerates into the ball, but keeps the stick heading straight towards the one. Uh-oh. He never leaves me a shot. <laughs> I think Errol's going to stuff him down on the eight. Well, he, then again, he has enough room to go all the way around town. and Let's hear what Errol says. He said tuck them all in. Tuck them all in. Yep, all the way around. Put them on the bottom row. There were a lot of avenues there to get through. He played that very nice. Very nicely. I think Shane has the ability to kick this ball 
and hit it square in the face and try and kick it between the 8-9 or the 4-9. Uh, the four ball on this table is extremely dark, folks. That is the color of the four. Uh, and play safe, but it looks like, oh, he can see an edge maybe. Can he see this? All right. Great shot. I stand corrected. I didn't think he could see that much of the ball. Twice easy out, right? No ball on him. <laughs> Gotta get the ball on him. This is no gimme shot here on this table. Earl's really got to come with this shot. See how he's looking at it, taking his time, seeing that shot. Oof. Man. Real easy shot that was. <laughs> <laughs> Earl's, Earl's the only man that's not happy when he makes a ball. <laughs> I mean, he's just got a, a fire down in the pit of his stomach that makes him want to, you know, destroy this game. He doesn't just want to play this game and pocket the balls. He wants to disintegrate the game in his hands. <laughs> An interesting thing, but yeah, I mean, if if it really comes down to it, he's not. That's not his anger towards Shane. It's that that drive to pocket these balls and overcome the challenges that this table holds. I mean, we get the benefit of a you know a verbal tongue lashing every time he makes a ball, but yeah, pretty good. See, Earl has got on the wrong side of this ball, and I, I, he can cinch this ball, but he's looking to do something a little bit more special, and he's trying to figure out whether he goes in between the 6-8 or around the 6-8 right now. I think he's going to go between them because of that. Oh. What's he doing? He's just kicking. Oh, my he's gosh. Got, he's, got, he's got a Man, really good chance. Think about that shot. He got a, what a great shot. He knows a 10-footer. I didn't get him. He can get me. So, cheer for nothing. He's always going to get the rolls. Well, I'm he's glad. always going to get the rolls, he said. Yeah, well, he, he's, Earl is going to be behind his 6 8 oh, 5 here. Oh, no. Now, Earl will go two rails into this corner, and I think he's going to hit it with a little bit of pace because he doesn't like the way things are sitting. Oh, look at this. He is going to try and gingerly hit this ball. Let's see if he gets the oh roll. Oh, my gosh. No. No. How much? <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, that's one little mistake like that can cost the match. I tell you. Even this early in the game. Look wow. at this. Wow. I think. Uh, wow. How many times has Shane missed that ball out of 100? One. No doubt. Boy, Same Earl amount that he misses it out of a thousand. One. <laughs> no doubt. Wow. Earl. I love it. Earl wants to grind a game into a million pieces. Eleven balls, a ten foot table. And Shane Van Boning are the only thing that stand between him and victory. That's the right stroke. Now, I don't think he's going to go to the rail with this one. For those of you at home, I, I, mean, it, I, I think he's going to hit it straight up. Let's see if I, if I read him. No, he did go to the rail. It's dangerous now. Hmm. He's, he's just so comfortable. He's yeah. just so comfortable. Is, he's in his element for sure. Well, the reason I say that he gets to take the speed out of the shot when he goes to the rail, but he better be darn sure he knows where he's hitting it. Because as soon as you English that ball a little bit, it jumps over on the seven. And he did it, he Englished it without hitting the seven, which is nice.
Uh, wow. Ooh, he's wrong gonna be back side. Cutting. Wrong side. It's okay. Well, get, get ready, folks. Unless it goes in the side. It, it goes. What do you think, Alvin? You it goes hit in the this? side. There you go. It goes in the side. He thinks bank is the shot. Look at him. <clears throat> Risky business. He's got a reverse bank it. I think he's actually in a very good position for this bank. It's a pretty makeable shot, shot for sure. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, my gosh. Man, I didn't see him doing that. Wow. All right, Shane's ahead. Well, if Earl starts hitting them all with a little give up, This is going to be an easy match. Try one more time here. We'll see that big swooping break from Shane Van Boning. Took a little bit off the break. Wow. I think he's going to leave Earl. Man. Mm, playable lie. The 10 9 is a little funny. This is what Earl wants. He wants Shane not making balls on the break. Look at He's going to overrun this ball. Wow. Is that the four or the two? That is the two and the eight and then the four. See how purple, like, you remember when we were doing a show the one time? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He's, that was an awesome shot, Earl. That's a great shot. Yeah, I remember the perp, the four ball was uh, the same color as the two ball. Well, the, it was the same color as the eight, and the people kept shooting yeah, the, the, eight. The, the, the eight ball. The eight, the, thinking it was the four. four and, or they would go ahead and shoot the three ball or the five ball, and here they're, you know, thinking that it was the eight. This is almost that color. Nice shot. Mm. For those of you that have this on uh, your 55-inch televisions at home, you can probably there's probably enough pixels on the in the picture that you can tell what color it is a little bit better. Why didn't he hit that nine? Run into the nine, break it out. He's got a ball pocket. For, he can pocket it in the same pocket he's hitting the five in, right? He can shoot the nine up in the corner where the five is, mm -hmm. exactly. And I think he's he's probably going to play position for that. Mm -hmm. He's playing better than he he's actually expected to make a mistake there. <laughs> Gosh, he just spiked that ball. Oh my in. goodness, what a shot. Now he can he can either play safe, knock him on the ten, or he can try and make the ball. Wow. I think he's gonna make the ball because he's Earl Strickland. No, he played safe. He played your safe. He smart played move. The, played the smart safe. Too hard to make that ball up in the corner, man. 
<laughs> you know, I think Shane is always smiling when he's coming to the table. I think that's great. That's a great shot there. God, you're all lucky. <laughs> He's got money and I got nothing and no laugh about it. So I don't know. That's right, folks. He'll be here all week. Remember oh. to tip your servers and try the veal. I think it's extremely lucky. I'm very skilled. Well, Earl's going to give anybody a problem, even Shane. Boink. Doink, and right in front of the hole for wow. Earl. Let's no. see if he gives him the you got lucky speech. <laughs> Man, Earl's giving. He's got the cake and eat it too uh, speech down pretty good, i got to mm -hmm. admit. Shane's got to learn to deal with it. Oh, no, look at this. He might get his just desserts. Man, Earl hits him good, doesn't he? Wow. Boy, what a great player. Both of these guys. Pots and pans. <laughs> Get him strict nine. Take a few moments to thank some of the folks that are making this free stream possible. You see two of them in the background there. I want Simonis and Viking Cues. Simonis Cloth, that tournament blue that you see here that we're playing on. Uh, nice. One of the best cloths I've ever had. Only one. Oh, great. And Viking has a new line of cues out. And they have a new shaft, the exact shaft. Pretty sweet. Exact I checked shot. it out. Yeah. Yeah, they had one uh, here. John Bertone from Kamui brought it down and has been letting people beat balls around with it. Everybody's impressed. I'll try and show you a little bit of that here a little bit later. That's Earl's break spot. I think his, his crush and break might work better on this table just because the amount... Seemed like he got slug racked there. <laughs> he slug racked himself. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. I think that the spectators should be spectators in this particular situation. Ooh. Whoa. He needed a little bump. He did need to hit that a little bit. A couple of members of the chat saying that they think that uh, the people that are sitting in the audience should be fairly quiet and uh, keep their commentary to themselves. And there's ball in hand. It was a nice try. <laughs> what was that noise? That was Earl. Well, we got over a thousand. Thanks to everybody out there watching. I think, uh, Earl has a pretty good way to get up on this three. Just set it down for the corner. I mean, we have just absolutely everybody out there on the chat. What's going on, all y'all? Yeah, it is a who's who of the uh, mm -hmm. pool spectating world and pool playing world. There's quite a few players out there, too. Thanks for showing up, everybody. We appreciate it. Definitely.
And if you can use the share button on the bottom of your Ustream player there and invite some of your friends from Facebook or Twitter, it does all the work for you. It doesn't disturb the player, and it only takes a second, and we can have even a bigger party. So thank you. And while we're at it, let's thank uh, Upstate Al and the moderators. Absolutely. What's going on, Upstate? Earl the Pearl continues on. Curl. What is he saying? Mm. His cue isn't going to be long enough here. behind Earl and he's trying to fade it. I always took this one to the side rail. But, to the uh, side? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I come around the 10. I, I loop around the 10 three rails. I, I just don't like following it sometimes because it gets, that 10's just so big. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yep. It's just, Boy, and that was it. an incredible shot that he just did. Mm -hmm. You know, when you need it to miss, that's when it hits it, you know, and he, to, to have the courage and the stroke to pull that off, wow. What a monster he is. There's Earl. Taking a three to two lead, catching wow. game five. We got uh, Rocky from Capone's watching out there. I want to say hi to him. Capone's in Spring Hill, Florida. Earl used to be the house pro there, actually. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, well, hey, Rocky. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. And Amanda down there checking out the stream. A lot of our people put their stream in their pool room. Oh, yeah. Uh, this looks really good on uh, 55, 60, 70 inches. We actually have one pool room that puts it on a 15-foot screen. They call us and tell us, send us pictures. Very cool. Very, very cool. We can check Earl's uh, break out a little bit better from this camera angle. Sure. Wow. One on the side, and uh, cue ball did Where's beat the, the pattern. And is the three going to hit Where's this the two? two? Where's oh. the two? <laughs> Earl's having fun. Work for it. Earl is having fun. If they were easy, he would a curse. curse. He says. What's that? If it was easy, he would be mad because the game was too easy. Uh huh. He's getting what he wish. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Great shot. This is a little tough to get out of. Uh, safety wise kick wise one of the things he's going to have to do is is probably finesse this ball which means he of course will mangle it now that I've said that <laughs> <laughs> I thought that there was more of a chance to finesse and keep the cue with the five but uh, he saw it elsewise and I trust his opinion That could be a really good uh, drinking game. How many times are the commentators wrong? Well, with you, it wouldn't. You'd be sober half the time. Uh oh, he overran this ball. Look at this! Wow, the pearl. He's leading away from this shot uh, a little bit, and when you get that. Generally, and I see this with Earl, he likes to pound it and get back in the position. Let's see what he does here. Sure did. Ooh, this is touchy. Oh, he went right in between them. Right <laughs> oh in between them. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Wow. Like, uh, perfect. Man, Earl's playing good. 
He's sweating every roll. He really wants it, folks. Oh, yeah. He really wants it. He has to. He has to win. This table's spin so touchy, and too. Spin and perfect. He thinks it's easy, but man. Meanwhile, he's he's almost got all stop shots from here. Did you get to hit any balls on this table? No. You didn't even get to hit one, did you? No. I you don't didn't. want to, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what four and a quarter inch pockets are like. Yeah. I used to practice on fours and at one point three wow. and seven eighths. Wow, three and seven eighths inch pockets, nice. That's when you know you have, you know, totally rotted your brain is when mm -hmm. you're trying to figure out how to make the table so impossible for you to play <laughs> on. <laughs> That's awesome. I probably should have just put snooker rails on it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Great touch. Ooh, Perfect angle. Is he okay here? Oh, he's fine. He'll just short stroke it. Yeah, he's good. Slide down about a foot for the 10 ball. Oh, look at this. He oh. let it run. Well, Earl's yeah. going to really make Shane work for it. I'll tell you. Keep hitting this. Four to two in favor of Mr. Strickland. You know, one of the pleasures that I had in uh, my life was trying to play on the tour in uh, the late 80s and mid 80s. And one of the most beautiful things that I became, uh, I, I knew it at the time that it was great. And I didn't know how long it was ever going to last, but it was watching Earl come back and Earl turn and hit that gear that so many other people in the world don't possess. As a matter of fact, Earl's the only one that possesses it. I don't know how many times I've seen Earl down 10 to 4, mm -hmm. Me 10 too. to 5, and he's playing a local, he's playing a great player, and nobody is aware that, the, that a ball that they kick at might be their last shot in the set, even oh. though they're butchered that ball. He or did hit it he, poorly. Or was he trying to play safe? No, he was no, trying to make that ball, didn't yeah, he? He just missed. He just that. missed. Might be uh, the best thing that could happen to him in a while. But, uh, yeah, when Earl gets into that groove, when uh, mm -hmm. he finds that gear. <laughs> what is he what doing? in the world? <laughs> But when he gets into that gear, and he does find it every now and then, but not mm -hmm. like he did before. He always had that gear available to him. Great things can happen. Now he's going to double hit this. Now. now has he left the 110, or what do you think he's done here? 110. Uh, that's not really the shot. I like the banking the four, the one back down to the other end where you're at and letting the cue come through and try and either make it or get in behind it. The other way, I'm not so certain about the, the combo. Wow. <laughs> Shane was. <laughs> Is more than me. Mm -hmm. 
I believe that that's four to three. Okay. You want to grab the score there, sir? Mm -hmm. is going to come up. Let it begin. Better hit that one slow. Now he may consider doing a three ball combination after this. Let's have a look at that other side. It, it looks like it's on. It's just how do you control the three off the A4? Well, what you're going to try and do is let the three fall to the bottom rail during the hit and follow it down. He's hit this one. At, I, I truly believe he's looking to shoot this ball down in the corner and come off the rail and hit the eight. Hit the top side of the eight, if anything. If he hits the bottom side, he, he can come through, but the top side is the best. I mean, he could obviously be playing a safe two straight out of the hole. Oh, he butchered it. Um, Look, and he, oh, he missed it. Earl's having a hard time finding a friend in the stands. No doubt. Maybe Pots and Pans will be rooting them on oh, here. Strict nine. <laughs> Looks a little bit deep. <clears throat> nice. Will it go or? Yeah, he got the safety out of it. Oh, no, he didn't. It didn't roll. <laughs> I think Shane can, uh... He can just click yeah. right off, right in the hole. Mm-hmm. I think he can play the old carom here, and I don't think it's the, the worst shot in the world. Looks like it goes. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, that's dead in the hole. I've seen worse shots. Mm-hmm. He's got to click it right off that 10, just a certain way to get it to roll in that hole, but it'll go. The only problem is the ten's going to bank up into where the cue is going to go. It is. And I've seen this where the ten comes up, hits the cue, and then ricochets over towards the four, and the cue goes back over to where a line away from it, and he never sees the four. So he got to mm -hmm. watch his shot. Like that. See it? Yep. Real, real possible on that shot, obviously. Definitely. This isn't an easy shot, that's for sure. I get this feeling that Earl's going to bury it. Wow. He might have hit it uh, with did. a sledgehammer. He's going to get blocked by the eight. <laughs> I think Earl's sweating, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, if Earl gets gets to really start hitting balls firmer into the hole, he's just like everybody else. He needs to, to have a few to let his stroke out. And these 10-foot tables do let him let his stroke out mm -hmm. every now and then. He's on the right side of this. He'll complain a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
because he's right and he's on the right side of it? <laughs> no. I won't comment on that. But I can say this. Uh, he looks really comfortable. He really does. Yeah, you're so Oh, he did. Uh, Get lucky one right. time, he says. I think he left Shane a shot. He did. I don't think he's uh, going to get a lucky roll. Wow. That's surprising Earl missed that ball, but it was a, he had to, he had to, a couple obstacles in the way. I well, I, I laid the old, he looks comfortable speech yeah, down and uh, sure did. made sure that he wasn't going to make a ball after that. Knotted up at four. What did he say? Oh, he said he's so glad about something. I really uh -huh. didn't catch the rest of it. I'm so glad I'm done. <laughs> Take a second here to thank a couple more of our sponsors. While well, Earl complains. The Diamond Billiards. Let's not forget them. They're the ones that put this whole thing together. They added 10,000. They pretty much made the tables. And they've even gone as far as making sure that this competition had a tournament director, Jay Halford, and uh, put on the whole tournament, the whole shindig here, the Southern Classic. Shane barely missed a scratch there. And Earl is going <laughs> to... He's giving us his own commentary. Uh, I don't think he's happy with the fact that he didn't get ball in hand. What do you think? <laughs> Deserved a little bit better than that. He deserved an honest shake. Shane really doesn't have too many problems here, except for the three to the four. It's a little bit touchy. If he can get the cue against this rail over here, he eliminates those three balls, the eight, nine, ten, in the middle of the table. And he managed to do so. He has his choice, spin two rails or one. I'm thinking that he's going to probably go two. Should make sense. Five can go in the other or the same pocket as the four, so he would spin that.
has his choice here, but I think he's going to shoot d8 in the corner after this. Yeah. Ooh, got funny. That's kind of why I didn't like that. I knew that he did. If he didn't move the ball very far, he could go on either side of the eight and kind of make things happen. Yeah, that worked out nice. I thought he went too far. Yeah, he's a little funny here too. A lot of options. There were. I mean, he really had to mess up something fierce on this out. See what he's looking at here. Yeah, you know, well, that's a small pocket for sure. I mean, you just got to roll it in there. He looks like he's going to hit it hard. Yeah. Wow, nice shot, Shane. This has got a kind of a funny little shot here, but he should be able to make this ball okay. Took a good look down the barrel at it. It's the right way to play that ball. He missed it. He Ooh, it. Almost missed it, didn't he? Yeah. It didn't look too good at the beginning here. And just like that, Shane goes up five to four. And uh Earl is stewing right now because it wasn't exactly his good fortune that uh, led him to be trailing five to four. I mean, I think he he's a willing accomplice here. Don't get me wrong. He's made a few bad shots. But one could argue that Shane has as well. So let's see what Earl has to say if he gets back to the table here. Break was not working before. Let's see what happens now. Oh, now he's starting to pop that ball on the side. I think he's got the speed down. Well, he darn near scratched earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a kind of a funny shot on the one. He's not happy with it, but. That's the problem about That's slow rolling the, that ball. Yeah, you don't play that think, shot. I think you can. I, you know, the the thing is, is that when you hit it high and you're shooting at 10 feet, you tend to shorten your stroke, you lose a little accuracy, and then it goes across 10 feet of cloth. Anything can happen. The slate can be a little bit off. It can hit something. Uh, you know. All kinds of strange things are, are invited at a slow speed. And speaking of strange things, Arrow decided that <laughs> he did not like having an easy out. <laughs> uh, he, I think he has a cut shot in mind here. Ah, oh, look at this. Safety down to the bottom rail. You know what's funny is these balls look like marbles on this, <laughs> on this table. Oh, shit. Say that. We did. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, all our wonderful sponsors out there. We uh, represent you so well. Uh, Jameson came in the booth and he got me distracted. Great shot there. out hit him hard that's it <clears throat> i don't know if he's gonna get rewarded with that though earl's jacked up over the 10.
this is definitely on the 50 for me. I always had a little bit of an issue trying to decide what I was going to do here. See Earl's taking a few extra seconds and yeah, well, that's kind of the way I felt when I used to shoot. <laughs> what? What did I do to get this? Where's my little putt putt punch and Judy out? Punch and Judy. No doubt. I kind of like pocketing this three ball in a lower right hand corner pocket because I can hit it with a firm stroke to get me past being jacked up. I don't want to take speed off my stroke. Let's see what Earl does. Wow. Good shot, Earl. Man, that was nice. Earl looks really, really comfortable on this table. No, he's probably going to miss the ball because I said that, but. <laughs> Man, why would you do that to that poor guy? No. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> We're allowed to say good things. We're commentators, darn it. I don't know whether he has the chance to get inside this seven ball or not. It doesn't look like he does, and he's inside it now too far. He's all right here, folks. He's just going to go down and shoot the nine in the side. He's He'll be all right. He's is he plugging his ears while he stands next to the... <laughs> he is plugging his ears. Yep. Man, Earl hits those perfect, doesn't he? He always rolls those right in the hole. It's because he rolls the ball by cueing center ball. Hmm. Too many people think, well, I'm going to hit this ball soft and roll it. Look at this. Uh, let me get it. No. And you, you roll the balls from center ball. It'll pick up the high cue, trust me. <laughs> There's 5-5. Five, five. Wow. For those of you just tuning in, you're watching the Diamond 10 Ball 10 Foot Challenge. $10,000 added tournament with a $1,000 entry fee, 16 players. We're watching Shane Van Boning versus Earl Strickland. Earl just tied up the match at 5-5 and is racking the balls. I'm J.R. Calvert from Inside Pool Magazine, and joining me in the booth is my guest, Alvin Nelson. Great Alvin. to be here. What do you think about this set? Here we are. We've got a third of it technically down the, uh, the drain. And I think Earl's playing better than Shane. He's playing way better than Shane. He's been playing. He's been way. He loves it this season. His element. He made these tables, tables happen with his, with his words. And uh, this is what he's been dreaming of. Uh, this is a fair battle between him and Shane. There's no guarantee balled on the break. He, he might have made this nine. He might have made this nine. He did make it. He did make it. Oh, and he gets goodness. a 110 crack. Is that what wow. he's excited about? Stick to the cue behind the three? He can't be doing that, can he? Let's have a look what he's I think it's a natural shot. I think he is. Boy, he's eyeballing it. All the way downtown, and I think he's a little thin on this yeah, cut, but he's got the safety. He played a two-way shot, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Hear him say it? Yeah, it was. This is such a classic confrontation, though. You this got Earl, who's won everything, you know, nearly five times. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Shane, who's going to win everything five times. Mm -hmm. And uh, to see these guys, uh, you know, Earl in the fall of his career and Shane in the spring of his career, this is this is definitely a this classic. This is it. This is it. We're here making history, everyone, and uh, make all this hard work and traveling and all worth it, this moment right here. 
Well, maybe not that exact moment, but you know what I mean. Right. Well, you know, and another thing that I got to note is in in any other sport where we'd have a, a confrontation with, you know, the young lion and the old lion, you would be using words like crafty and, you know, cagey and uh, you know, things like that. Earl, you we're not. We're, we're using power strokes and talking about, mm -hmm. you know, how strong he is. It's it's interesting. I, I think it has a little bit to say about the pool, the pool, the game of pool. Oh, he got bumped. I think he got he double he shot right into a double kiss there. He got bumped. Boy, Shane's not not doing good today. Well, he he hasn't paid the ultimate price yet. Where you know he sets up a break and run for Earl and mm -hmm. Earl let this one get away a little bit. But there's all many, all kinds of balls Earl's, down there. He's a safety master, I'll tell you that much. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, normally in a, a, you know, a confrontation where their players are 20 years apart and, you know, they're at these stages of their careers, you're, you're using words like crafty and cagey for the older guy. But not really. Earl's a power player. Earl is, there's a, and it says a lot about the game of pool, how to play it right and when is with power and knowledge. Girls got Gave him the out. Well, he, he shot that ball. That's his fault. Gave him the out. He should know. I don't think that was the shot. Now, there's been some health issues, too, on Shane's side. He's been saying that, uh, you know, he's having a little uh, gastrointestinal problem. Ate some bad food, I believe, or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, not feeling so good. And, you know, Shane's allowed to miss a stroke every now and then, mm -hmm. uh, especially in that position. Come out right in between the six and seven. Floated above them, but stopped midway. Still keep an angle towards the six. Nice shot there. Well, getting in on this eight. He doesn't need to be too spectacular because the ten's a little bit off the rail. Uh, if the ten was more against the rail, he'd need to be pretty accurate here. But I think uh, he's just going to find a way to to get a shot at the eight. He's not going to need to move in between the eight and the ten. Now, if the if the eight goes up the table past the ten, in between the the rail and the ten. He'll be fine here. He's he's leading me to believe that that's the case. Pretty shot. See what happens. Not totally out of the woods. He he wanted to get a little bit more. Well, he has to cut it in the side. So there you go. Ooh, that's a touchy little shot. Show how good this guy plays. There he is. There it is. Maybe a little straighter than it looks. Earl's not even at the table, and we're getting his commentary.
right, six to five. I want to welcome a special guest, John Berton of Kamui Tips. John, welcome. Hi, Jer. So, uh, it's going to go hill hill all the way. You think? Yeah. That's my prediction. So, does everybody get a free Kamui tip if it that doesn't <laughs> no, put you right that. on the spot? <laughs> I can't afford that. <laughs> uh, well, Earl steps to the table with what I would say is his best layout in eight games. Yeah, it looks pretty, sp pretty spread open for him. It's uh, it's up to him to miss or uh, make a mistake here. I think he's on the right side here. I think he just needs to float away from the three. Oh, mm -hmm. he was <laughs> down near straight, and this three must be kind of go right between the six nine. That's all I can say. Little update from around the room. Rob Saez and Jeremy Jones are knotted up at four games apiece. And in the young gun battle, Landon Shuffett is ahead 7-1 to one over Canadian John Moore. <laughs> wow. Pretty decisive lead there. Here's a young tiger coming out. Look at that. Look at that classic girl stroke here. I think he got all of that one. Wow. You can watch uh, <laughs> Rob play his match uh, in the background there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Earl's saying that while he shoots, everybody's all quiet. I think we've all been in the, in the <laughs> strange room where... Everybody talks during your shot, and they get quiet during the home guys. <laughs> <laughs> home guys at the table, they they make sure they're quiet. Well, I can hold my breath for him if he wants me to. He's all right, folks. He's able to pound this out or follow it forward. Blew it. Yeah, he, right. he blew it. No, blew it, blew it is making it. He's all right here. Blew it maybe locked up at the end rail. Frozen against the rail, maybe. <laughs> all right. And six, six. The same people that he's complaining to are the people that cheer for him. <laughs> so uh what would you predict after this whoever wins do you think we're going to have another rematch maybe another race to 100 <laughs> between the two of them <laughs> on another you know on a 10 foot table <laughs> no i don't think so <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I think there's a lot of mutual respect for each other. Uh, Earl's saying we're going to shoot. <laughs> Earl is, he is very, very comical. Let's see. Oh, well, we're going to have to go down to this camera here. Check out what's uh, in store for us. Nine ball. And he's going to get a shot? No. Nope. Yeah, he's, he, he wants a shot, I can tell. <laughs> what do you think? I can't break it right either. You deserve all the money, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you deserve all the money. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm playing good. 
Just give me air. That's all I need. <laughs> no, I can't even get air. I like the option of giving some distance on this particular shot. But if he does, the two's right there. Shane's probably going to knock it in. But let's see if he uses his three. Yeah, his best bet is just to get it away from the one as far as possible. Yeah. Or, and he can bank. Push. Push. Okay. We'll take that. It's okay. There you go. That's commendable. That's nice because he, he doesn't bring the 3-6 into the game without an easy shot. Uh, had he put it down maybe another 5 inches, 6 inches, I think the 3-6 could be put into the game with a rolling stroke. And a safe one at that. But now he's made it a little bit harder. And let's see what Earl has up his sleeve. Simple right, middle of the table safe. So you think Shane's, Shane's going to try to bank it in? Uh, it's uh, he's too hit close it. to the rail there. He'll hit it with a little pace. He wants to split the balls up. Ooh, oh. air ball. Air ball, let's see what happens to the three. The way they've been rolling, mm. I, I, I swear he could have tied up the three at that point, you know. Yeah. Earl has been, you know, getting the worst of it. But at this point, uh, the, the three and four are hanging, the five's darn near hanging, the six is hanging, and the seven is hanging. So he has the eight and ten to contend with. You can tell by Shane's posture he's not happy. You can almost predict when Shane says, oh, I'm done. It's just... Uh... Yeah, it's just... Ugh. You think he's uh, feeling that way, or do you think he's uh, that's part of the act? I... I think he's he's really hard on himself right now. He's so mad from, from that. It's all right to be a little rough on yourself, you know. Yeah, but sometimes it, uh, on a player, they get mad at themselves, and they get, it really starts messing with their head and their flow. They, just, they get all wrapped up in, in it and, and can't get it behind them to just continue with the game. Yeah, I think at these two guys' levels, they've uh, they've overcame most of that, the the adverse effects of anger and how it comes into the game. Mm -hmm. They're they're pretty much in control of a lot of their emotions. I'm just gonna draw it out, pass the side. Got there. <laughs> Earl Strickland All takes right. a seven six lead. No player has really got more than two games ahead of the other player. I think Earl is looking to more or less uh, try and use his break right now. He knows he's breaking the ball strong. And he knows he's making balls. He's just not getting a shot afterwards. Right. You know, you can't control that to a certain degree. But uh, I think Earl... His, his intensity has been at a, a good level this whole match. Well done, Earl. He's got some people. 
I wonder how much uh, practice time uh, Shane has on a ten foot table. That's a good question. And you he know. was he was here before the, his match for a good what hour? A yeah, good hour practicing. But don't you know. do it. I've seen him. You can't. Nope. <laughs> Earl can't believe it. He's like, wait a minute, I'm making the balls. How am I not getting the shots? <laughs> Snake bit. <laughs> it's the pool gods. <laughs> They're going to make him work hard for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah i need to put that on t-shirt <laughs> i give in i'll never get mad, mad again. again yep <laughs> yeah we need to make some t-shirts here <laughs> yeah i see that one hmm Jane's going to let him have it. Earl, he he may be trying to take the cue ball two rails back down in towards his ten. There it is. Window. Yeah. Keyhole. <laughs> Good shot, Earl. No, it ain't. He's <laughs> cursed. We need to come up with a prayer to the pool gods and tell Earl you got to pray this prayer to the pool gods and you'll play better. Right. <laughs> nice strike. He might be setting up a three ball combo or a carom combo. Get it up there to the uh, there I don't think the carom combo is on anymore, but no. I've seen Earl do some pretty incredible stuff. And he doesn't have a clear bank shot either, so he's just going to have to uh, do another safety shot here, right? Yeah. I mean, he can go real into the tan. Look at this, he's going to get a roll. I think he got... Uh, he didn't sell out, but he did let Shane see an edge of the ball. Shane may be able to come back on in between the 6-8, two rails. One, two, buckle your shoe. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh! Darn it. <laughs> and that's a 110 combo waiting for Earl on the oh, other end, man. I'd say. Just had a little too much. And this might be Earl's first two game lead. And there it is. 8 6. <laughs> and the people are going to start cheering as Earl gets. <laughs> Pots and pans. <laughs> Pots, he's so funny. <laughs> he's a classic. Oh, boy. Well, I, I can tell you, I'm a, I don't need to tell this story, but I met Pots and Pans in Reno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I have plenty of video that's logged up on my phone here <laughs> of his jokes.
Well, you didn't have to videotape him. All you had to done was come back and see him the next day. We hear the same jokes. <laughs> I know, they're the same jokes. <laughs> Earl has made the seven ball, and he's going to actually be able to see a ball that's yellow. Both of them. Clearly, yep. Now, does he praise the pool gods for giving him this this break? No. No. Hey, he has to give... You know, proper ado, right? Yep. Well, if I, I'm i trying to remember, was Earl up 4-2, to two, right? So he's going to go for his first three-game lead. Oh, no. If, well, he got to safety here. Nope. Came out enough. <laughs> got a bunch of our friends out in the chat. <laughs> Friend Neil. Hey, Neil. Nice to see you're here. Let's see if Shane can answer this and bring it back within one. There you go. And doink. Does Shane even hear Earl groveling? I'm not certain. I like to ask him if he really hears him groveling or he, he can really tone, tone him out. Alright, kill the person with the cell phone. He hit that great. He missed it. Oh, it looked like he was catching that point. Great shot. I gotta breathe because I keep holding my breath and I pass out. <laughs> well, you know, it's one of those things on the to-do list every day. Remember to breathe. <laughs> well, he's in perfect position here. Run into this corner two rails and flop and reverse on the other two rails. He should be fine. He might not even use the fourth row. Wow. He shocks me. I did not expect him to go around that way. Wow. Hmm. chain making that rack look easy mm -hmm. pack to the Raptors here and I don't blame them it's the best game in the house right now might be the best game in the world Say hi to some of our sponsors, and one of them is Viking Cues with their new uh, exact shot shaft. Follow you. Go to Viking Cues, and I don't think they have it up on their website yet, but I think they have a video on YouTube. Just uh, look for the Viking exact shot. 
VikingQ.com. Yeah, VikingQ.com. Good guys. Yeah, send them a message, email, tell them uh, thank you for that sponsorship, and uh, tell them you want to see what this new shaft is all about, because they're hiding it from their website. <laughs> <laughs> and by all means, uh, you know, you folks are what makes this free stream happen, and along with what, the table sprung elite, he's going to make four balls. Four balls. And get a great shot on the three. <laughs> I think we're going to hear Earl chirp a little bit on this now. <laughs> See, now the pool gods like Shane. <laughs> I think Shane says his daily prayers to the pool gods. <laughs> I think uh, Shane has uh, got that stroke, uh, the brake stroke down. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's worked very hard with that, that, uh, that brake. Looks like he's zigzagging two ways here. All right. Perfect. Depending on the angle that he has here, I would say he's just going to come off the rail a few inches and make the ball, the seven ball, down in the lower right hand corner pocket here. But it, that cue ball could take off on him. Talking about them talking. The crowd, mm -hmm. the crowd talking. He swung it. Nice shot. <laughs> Looked like it was falling off a ledge. All right. Earl <laughs> tossing the balls at him. <laughs> a little bit of intimidation. I like there. I, I I really like Shane's response here. Just laughing away. Yeah. Yeah, well, my uh, my cousin Jen is out there watching the stream, mm -hmm. and I want uh, to let her know it was because of her grandfather, my uncle, mm -hmm. is why I fell in love with pool because he had a beautiful nine foot Brunswick when I was a little kid. Oh wow! Yeah. And now here you are. Here I am. Got and two of the greatest players in the world. You're yes. Res partially responsible for having them come here and uh, doing all the commentary. Uh, three, three four, four again, <laughs> but this time you can't see the four. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Two consecutive breaks with four balls. That's just insane. The girl's just chattering away. Earl just, eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> he may be trying to put him down on the 10 ball here. Let's see if he can get the cue ball on this 10. 
I missed a 10. Mm. Now, if I know Earl, he's going to shoot this in the hole. But there's a lot of people in the world that cross bank his ball. He's not going to get lucky on this one, folks. Yeah, not enough juice behind it. It's over now. <laughs> and what's cool is it's Shane. I don't think Shane's hearing him say all that. He's being very selective with the hearing him of what uh, Earl is saying, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Good position. Uh, folks, we'll try and get you some updates on the other two matches. And it does look like we're going to be getting Darren Appleton and Alex Pagalion later this evening. It's a good possibility. No, nothing set in stone yet. But uh, Jay Helfer walked by me earlier today and said uh, they got a match. And he said, you know, looks like you might have got a roll, JR. So. We all might have got a roll, and we might be able to see that match immediately following this match. So keep your fingers crossed. Good stroke. Did he hit the 10 on the way up? This is going to be a tricky league, tricky game. And I think we're going to start using the word cagey with Shane. Look at this shot. Let's give her all a good old 10 foot, good old fashioned 10 foot bank shot. <laughs> this is everybody's favorite, right? He didn't even let it stop. So, after a couple of Thunder Boomer breaks and making four balls, Shane takes a 9-8 to eight lead and Earl is tossing balls and conceding games. So, uh, we're at that stage in the match where people would say Earl's out of it. Earl's done. Yeah. And too many people. The The list is long and distinguished of players that have fell for that trap. I don't think Shane's going to fall for it. I think Shane knows that he has to bear down even harder now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is when you get the Mongo Earl. Now you've only made him mad. <laughs> <laughs> He got the eight ball, and the one's going to take its place. No. Two. The two took its place for sure in the bottom yeah. of that hole. I don't know whether Shane's going to do the old roll-up on the four here. He could do that. I just don't think that it's something that, uh, you know, I would put a lot of hope in with a player uh, you know, of Earl's quality. And the other reason is, is that that one's going to come out a little farther. Let's see what Shane offers Earl. See it. Okay. At least he hit it. Did he grab a tagger by the tail here? That's the big question.
Oh, there's enough room there to make it. Is there? Shane just gave that look like no. There's Alex Pagaline. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, I think it's Darren that's actually in a one pocket match. So what do you think Shane's going to do? Play safety on this? Shane can go, shot. yeah, Shane can go three rails here. It's the five that worries me. Draw the cue back up into the six. You know, four inches. Don't eat, keep it within an inch or two of the six. It's a flat ball. Oh, look at this. Nice shot. Went forward. Kept a nice angle. Good shot. This isn't exactly easy. Didn't he just open it up for Shane? Yeah, the one ball will go, but look at the nine and the seven. <laughs> they go, but there's nothing that's a gimme here yeah. for the one. I mean, he can play it off the seven maybe, and now he's got to control the cue. So let's see what he does here. Doink, great hit. See, the, the, he's looking at the 9, too. He's taking care of the 7, all the big problems. I think he's looking to see if he can shoot a 4-ball or something like that off of it. He'd love to be able to squeeze it through that point with draw. And I think that's what he's going to have to do. And... Uh, you know, these players know that shot. They'll get fairly straight in and put a lot of draw on it and push that nine through that point. As long as you're not trying to do it too shallow or too steep, you'll be all right. He has to get that cue ball over to get good shape on six right too much maybe not you can see the side does he see the side pocket yeah oh yeah he got the side pocket perfect he's looking to see what he wants he, he, he wanted to be able to shoot the seven in the same pocket but he went a little bit far yeah so now he's got to probably in my opinion go to the rail Find a speed that lets the cue ball set to the rail so he can draw the cue ball back across and over towards the side with the nine. Oh, look at this. He's going to move the nine. What a shot. That's kind of a thumb, thumb it <laughs> right at Earl. Hey, I'm going to just go ahead and get lucky right in front of you. <laughs> Watch me free will. <laughs> Let the rolls begin, or in this situation, continue. A little short here. Yeah. Yeah, that great focus on the back of his head. On <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at our multi-view monitors. Yeah, we have a multi-view monitor here, so I can see all the camera angles. <laughs> What I don't like about this shot is that the cue ball naturally wants to come down and strike the 10. And there's some scratches there. And if you hit it harder, well, then you end up on the other end of the table. Harder than that, and well, it's just insane. You should be able to baby it. Oh, look nice. at this. He rolled it straight in. He rolled didn't even in. shoot it in the side. What a shot. Yeah, if 
folks. Those long shots are not easy. And Shane Ramboni. Yeah, keep in mind, it's a 10 foot his table. Lead. Extends his lead, 10 to 8, yes. Kick the table, Earl. Kick the table. Take a second and thank all the people that showed up on the stream. Thank all of our sponsors. You are the guys that are making this all happen. And uh, Seabirds is one of them. If you go to uh, InsidePool.tv, click on Seabirds link there and you can buy all the Kamui products such as the Kamui Chalk and the uh, Kamui Gator Grip. Nice break. I don't think he's going to make four this time though. Uh, he's not going to make Which one. Which means he's not going to make one and Earl's going to have some insane shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the way these balls are rolling. Oh boy. <laughs> Earl's, Earl is particularly not happy right now. Nope. <laughs> I guess he's talking to the crowd in specifics. Yeah. Like nobody in specific, maybe just the crowd. Yeah, the crowd. The crowd's sharking them. This is an SRO event, standing room only. If you didn't get here an hour beforehand, you just messed up. Earl is not getting a shot, and that has been the name of this set. When he does, they've been a little bit funny. Yeah. I have been in sets where it's like this, and it's not fun when the other guy gets to do everything and never worry about a thing. We've all been there. I think Earl's just voicing his opinion a little bit louder. Looks like he's electing just to play a, a bank shot, a stop bank shot, which is pretty interesting. I think he had, he had other options, but nothing wrong with this one if you spank nice. it right in a hole like that. All the other balls are hanging except for the 6-10. Now that 7 could get a little bit funny, obviously, off the, after the 6. Let's see what we got going here. One thing I, I would note is Earl's being very quiet while Shane shoots. Okay. Well, it's not, it's in between shots. He's not saying it while he's shooting. So it looks like the six goes in the upper right hand corner pocket here. Shane will draw back, side pocket height maybe little bit before it and just use the natural angle to go one rail and flop down for the seven. Yep, there it is. straight down. That's such a tough way to do that, but once you do it, it's, you know, once you have your touch, you love to do it that way. Totally in control of every revolution on the ball at that point. Oh, oh 
no. <laughs> Let's see how many laps he does around the table. I think he's going to just shoot it in two strokes here. One, two. I've watched him too much. <laughs> not even close <laughs> <laughs> but it is point bound it got him a little surprised though he's heading that direction well he's uh, you know the good news is he can spike it and he's not even really jacked up has that hole right through the side pocket 10 9 that was an unforced error is one of the few unforced errors I can say that uh, Shane has paid for. He's made about six unforced errors in this set, and I'd say five of them he got away with. And it, and you can see the results. Uh, we've got a tormented Earl Strickland racking the balls, who's down 10-9, and uh, getting ready to break. And a crowd that is... Uh, Worried uh, whether they they're allowed to sneeze or not at the wrong time. <laughs> you know, if your nose itches, you better hold off. <laughs> Hurl's on the edge of his, you know, ready to go off. Yeah, I I told Eli, yeah, well, to the people out there listening, Eli is one of our one one of my videographers. It's just taking some video and some still pictures, and I told him. Um, you know, this camera's a little loud when it clicks off. I said, be very careful when you're taking a photo. The uh -huh. girl does not hear you. <laughs> he says, why? Oh, you don't want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll sit down and I'll teach him a few more tricks about taking pictures. Half the battle is wait until the guy's already shot. Yeah. You live longer. <laughs> yeah, I've watched Earl voice his opinion to some photographers once before. Well, this is a this this shot has me stymied a little bit. I might draw it and bank. I might even try and hit it into the two and go over by the three nine. Rail first into the two and stall it. That's an interesting shot. You had to be creative there. There was nothing that was, you know, textbook waiting. Yeah. I'm trying to f think what what Shane's going to do with this. You think he can keep? He can see the side pocket there. He's gonna. He no. He's gonna put him on the six. See the six down there. He'll yeah. he'll flop one rail or two, depending on how much he can see. Okay. Look at this shot. Oh. That was imaginative. That you know, a lot of imagination getting going yeah, around here. I thought he was gonna. Not really where he wanted it, though. Mm. I think where he wanted it was the cue ball right on the eight, and the one ball somewhere stuffed in between some balls where it was guaranteed. Great shot! Great shot! He wanted it to go. I think he wanted that three ball to drop in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was playing the shot. Okay. Great shot. Always like drawing this ball straight across behind the eight. But let's see what what Shane likes to do with this. Okay, not enough he, power. He didn't get there. Nope. He didn't get there, folks. 
he doesn't like the cue ball and this is a red circle cue ball we were going to uh, try and get a, a measle ball for the guys but I didn't want to change up the balls uh, I wanted to leave them as they were and uh, the measle ball is a slightly different ball mm -hmm. than the red circle and I didn't want to have this table play different than the others right so we've left it as the uh, a set keep it consistent and, and this defines a real professional he's gonna have to adapt and figure it out right and overcome that's you know just part of the game and I, I think one of the reasons that Shane even made a comment about the cue ball is, that, is the cue ball that, that's with this is kind of going out of circulation. Oh, nice. What that a great just, shot. See? Made it happen. He's shooting at his hole, and, you know, I actually think he's going to go real first with the five here, let the five shoot up table, and maybe even get behind the eight while he makes a play at this tempo. And it's it's wired. It looks like it's really close. You know, he's he's shooting it right at it. It had room. Uh, and with the nine there, I didn't think that it, this was a, a question. Yeah. It's his now. He can do this. This has been a sensational out. back across Eleven nine. Yep, eleven nine. Two game lead. Two game lead. That's happened only two or three times in this set so far. That's about as big as they get. All right, Shane. I want to see four balls fall in. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun to watch. I it love watching his breaks. Yeah. It's just the balls just magically go into the pocket. He does have a, a stroke for the break. I love I love watching him wear all the way back and just One. run right through. Two. Now the one is going to be down table and uh, not being cooperative as much as it's been in the past. How many balls went in? Oh, there, oh. I think three balls went in. Three? Oh, the, the one is that the one frozen? Oh, maybe more than there? that. What have we got? Seven balls out there? So three went in, yeah. We can bank at this hole, I guess. I think he's hit it a little light. No? Nice distance. Cloth really rolls nice. It is some nice cloth, one of our sponsors. Snuck that in there. Yep, had to. <laughs> had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simonis is a great company.
Shane is looking to take a three game lead and get within three of the finish line here. Now he only has three more balls to go. Yeah, he's just making this look very easy. He is really making this look easy. Child's play. Mm. And Errol's going to concede that 10 ball. And we're going to have Shane move to 12 to 9. All right, John. From here, how many how many games? What do you think the score will be from this point on in the set? I think it, still think it's going to go hill hill because you know if well, let's just say Shane doesn't make anything on this on this break, you know you have Earl who's like steaming in his seat <laughs> wanting to get to that table, and I still have a feeling it's going to go hill hill. But four out of four of my predictions the last times I was on the, on live streaming, right. I've been right. So <laughs> let's see if I'm right with this one. You're right now. Great break. A lot of action. Nothing heading towards holes except for the eight. Eight goes in. Wow. And the three is just blocking the one. Just, yeah, well, I think he can get it in. And there used to be a move that the guys would play in this situation where they'd say, well, you know, you like Shane and I like Earl. Let's just <laughs> bet, you know, a simple $10 bill apiece. Well, Are Earl you would proposing have, a bet? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just talking about a, a, a slick little move when a guy's ahead. is You can get odds on your money if you bet by the game from here. <laughs> Shane went for it. I love it. And he's going to save Earl on the six. Yeah. Well. Uh, he can't <laughs> even stop from smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's smile. And let strut, too. He's That's the cat that got the canary smile. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, Shane went at it, you know, knowing as if. You know, if he made it, great. If he didn't, you know, it's still is, is going to... How's it hit the four? Make it hard for uh, Earl. Well, you know, he made it hard for Shane. Well, I think he can see it. Do you think he can see it? I think he can see it. Well, you know, if we had one of them fancy-dancy things that changed our camera angles... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Our engineer was yeah. all over it. Yeah, he was. Uh, Alvin, where did he go? He disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> he's here. He took a quick break. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. And a 210 is sitting there for Earl. Oh, I think he'll still play it. What do you think? I think so. I think Earl was not beyond taking a cheap, easy game after all these rolls. And Earl gets into double digits, taking game 22. Pulling within two. So here we are. You're still saying hell, hell, huh? Yeah, yeah. I won't play on this again. I'm going to quit pull after this. I'm putting my sticks up for sale after this. I'm selling my table. Yeah, you should have ten. Uh, tournament director Jay Helford is stepping in and, wow, actually being useful. 
<laughs> no, we won't do that to Jay. <laughs> Jay's the guy that's bringing you Alex Pagenline and Darren Appleton here later, folks. We're going to have a lot of fun here tonight. Your sport will never grow. What is his sport? Is it not Earl's sport? Not under this guidance. Oh boy, now we're getting political. Well, he has a soapbox that he carries around with him. He spread them up pretty nice. The one ball's going to take its place and the two's going to get blocked by the five. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is going on? Earl's like, wait a minute, how did I get a shot? But this is that old hustle, you see what I mean? The guy's got a few good rolls. You know, you bet 10. Now, if Earl would happen to go to Hill Hill, mm -hmm. Shane might still win the match, and I might be $30 ahead if we were betting 10 a game. But you know what I'm saying. That's yeah, the that's yeah. old hustle that I was trying to talk about. Uh, Most people don't uh, catch it until they're down $30, and they their guy won the set somehow. <laughs> Can't get out now. Yeah, there's everybody here. Just really crowd watching this as if it's you know final match, mm -hmm. you know the uh, the whole tournament and and it's not. <laughs> it wouldn't be. It wouldn't it be nice to see these two match up at the end? Again, yeah. that'd, that'd be. Well, be it's uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's single elimination, so. You know, one and done. You yeah. get you get nailed here, you're you're done. It is interesting to see Earl play with a bridge. There you go, Earl. Clamp it down to the table. He, he I I don't think he can reach it left handed is why he's doing this. He's going to get a hit here. That's a nice shot there. Well, he, <laughs> he doesn't have a long enough cue. That's awesome. <laughs> He's got a 90-inch cue. That's the longest cue out right now. Around it? Mm. Yeah, he is. Just barely. This isn't my favorite shot, but you know, you can hit this shot firm still at these angles. But you gotta hit it clean. He hit it pretty good, but he's still a little short. With the eight hanging that much, he can he can play this ball 13 different ways from Sunday. I always like just kind of killing it, just like that. Help me understand something about Earl. He sometimes he has those weights on his arms, mm -hmm. and sometimes he doesn't. Why? Well, how much time do we have? Is there enough time here? <laughs> Is it a muscle memory thing where he's training his muscles to? I think that's exactly keep him down. what he's doing. Uh, he's, that makes sense. He's he's finding ways to make it. He's training himself for form, and he's in search of the perfect stroke. He is a real student of the game. There we go. Though he not be classically educated, he does have intelligence. He uses logic, and like I said, 
It's interesting when he gets his soapbox out that you get to peer into his mind a little bit and see the logic that he uses to come up with some rather absurd deductions at times. I think I call that fuzzy logic. Pretzel logic, fuzzy logic. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> joking, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he is definitely a brilliant, brilliant mind. That that. Yeah, I I I think that it's there's. It's hard to describe. <laughs> yeah. There's brilliance behind it. Yeah, I I, I think he has moments where. He has discovered and created things, and invented things that people in this world have not seen or experienced or thought of. Dry? He's going to come up dry, but leave a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Earl doesn't hold anything back here, folks. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Bank. I think he's going to play safe off the top side of the one. No. Right in the hole? Yeah. And this is why I thought there was a safety involved. Because I really didn't. He had to hit it a little bit harder. There was nothing. He was going all out for that shot had he was tried to really get on the two right. He'll play a nice safe here. Shoot it into the three. No. Yeah. Let it fall down. I kind of like shooting it into the three. Now Earl has the ability to come back and use those balls as a safety. Let's see if that is his demise, is that he didn't use those balls. And now he's going to let Earl use them. Tried to use them. And for those of you just tuning in, this is the Diamond 10 Foot 10 Ball Challenge. It's a $10,000 added event, $1,000 entry fee, 16 player field, single elimination style on 10 footers with four and a quarter inch pockets. We're here at Harris Casino in Tunica, Mississippi. I'm J.R. Calvert from Inside Pool Magazine. Joining me in the booth is my special guest, John Bertone from Kamui Tips. And we're watching a match between Shane Van Boning, who's at the table, leading 12-11 over Earl Strickland. John, you going to go out on a limb and say that he's out here? Yeah, I think so. I think this this shot here tells tells everything, because if he can be in line on the six, I think the rest of this falls out. Okay, we just got word from tournament director Jay Halford via Lee Brett that we have a really good chance of getting Alex Pagalan and Darren Appleton. Nice. Uh, it looks like they're kind of tied up over there. That'll be fun. And uh, Fun match to watch. They pretty much are predicting that this is going to end before Darren's one pocket match. So looks pretty good so stick around we're going to have Alex Pangolin versus Darren Appleton and if you want to get a few more friends maybe you can hit the little share button at the bottom of your player and invite some of your friends for a little late night pool action you know <laughs> 
And just like that, Shane wants to make it 12-12. And John's starting to be Nerdstradamus here. I, get, I think I'm going to pass my my crown to you. I don't think I've guessed one thing right. <laughs> well, I can definitely predict, you know, if it's going to go hill hill, but uh Who's going to win? It's it's up to the pool gods to determine that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, I think when it really comes down to it, uh, to get a reprieve like this and and have a race of three in front of you after what looked like that you were going to be down thirteen eleven, you would have needed to win four before your opponent won one. It looked impossible. This is a reprieve, and I think you're going to see a nice break from Earl Strickland. One. Yeah, he doesn't like the fact that the one's there, but look what he's got waiting for him here. How's that three look? Our trusty... Engineer Alvin is laying it on us here with those fantastic camera angles. And Earl laid it down, but I think he's given him way too much to... His Shane's already at the table. I don't blame him. Prophet of the pool gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scaring me because I'm, you know, five for five. This would make me six for six. Well, if you predict this one and you hit it, you did something. That's that. that I mean, it. You know, there's. There, I'm sure there's a few people out on the chat that have been laying down the hill, hill talk for a while, because yeah. it is that tight of a match. But uh, to go out on a limb and see the roles that Earl's been getting, and say, hey, there's a chance that he's going to get in this set and bring it back to hill, hill. That's really. I mean, and then to have it happen, amazing. But I will say this. Shane is not letting Earl breathe. I just noticed on that last shot that Earl had, why didn't he spend a little more time with it and combo the the, the one to the three in? Yeah. Was he trying to do that? Yeah, he didn't spend much time. He went down and just hit it. Yeah, he's getting... Uh, <laughs> I think Earl's uh, voicing his opinion on how uh, Shane's roles are turning. <laughs> you know, we have all been in this situation where the other guy just seems like no matter what he touches, it's it's perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't imagine two world-class players like this being separated by the roles. You know, look at this. Mm. No matter what Earl does, there's a 110. There's something there always for Shane. And no matter what Shane does, there's nothing for Earl. He may be able to play this two-way and even, who knows, get safe down here below the two. Oh, went straight for it. Oh, at that infamous corner. I think these guys need a break. They need to go get away from the table. I don't think you could 
pry them away with a crowbar right now. Yeah. Not in a, not in a million. Yeah, last night, you know, watching Stevie Moore and Johnny Archer play, it was really cool. It, and Johnny knew to slow down Stevie by just calling a break after Stevie ran a three, three pack. Mm hmm. And you need to slow down Stevie. Well, when you have a guys putting packages together, that's one thing. But the, the grind type of set that's going on right now, these guys don't want to lose that edge, that that anger that they have to put the balls in. Right, but you know, on the flip side here, they're missing shots they shouldn't be missing. So I'm, I'm thinking they should just get up away from the table, relax, cool down a little bit, and then. You'll go back and focus. Yeah, I think I'll, you know, you'll, you'll have a an easy time convincing them that they should have made and could have made these balls. But I don't think you'll have an easy time convincing them that a nice. break was what was going to keep them right. in this. Now, can he hit it off the three and move the three out? Lightly. There's that cell phone again. Yeah. Uh huh. That's not what he wanted because no. that is not a right handed or a left handed shot. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It really has to be lightly. That three ball takes off in that situation so fast. Because you don't really think that you're hitting the three that thick, but you really are. Do we have a shot of Earl in his seat? Who is he speaking with here? Uh, can't really get to him at this point. starting to make excuses for how why he's lost. thing there. Mm. Slow down, slow down. Shane's uh, wishing it to slow down. He's not beyond a little uh, body English. I have to sit better here. I've been on the edge of my seat all this time. <laughs> This. He's got a zigzag now. talking about that, 
that shot that bounced in the corner there that shouldn't have gone in, but it did go in. Yeah. You know, there's nothing you can say about that. If the ball goes, the ball goes, in my opinion. I'm not going to worry about whether it, it was slopped in or whatever. It's, you know, it just gets you aggravated thinking that the guy's getting lucky. And it just gets to be annoying if you if you think that the guy's, you know, hitting shots and they shouldn't be going in. Obviously they do or they wouldn't they'd still be on the table. Right. So Nice looking swing there from try. Shane. Yeah. Didn't want it dry, so it's Earl's to bring it back to 13. He always gets a two way shot. I don't ever get one. He was hoping. I think Shane's looking to bend this ball in there a little bit. <laughs> you know, it can be done. But there's a, you know, he can hit it with a flat ball, I guess, as well. Let's see what happens here. Just don't make an air ball. And you got the double kiss where the cue whipped up. Keep yeah. going, keep going, keep going. It's not got a hard shot. Could be worse. You can have a hard kick. Right. Or no shot. Shane could still be shooting. That was tougher than ball in hand, I'll tell you that. Thinks he got this one and got away from him. No? He didn't get enough of it. <laughs> Earl's having a hard time. He's struggling. Oh, come on. He can get out. He can do it. I wonder what he's like playing golf. <laughs> no idea. I think you have no rails to bump on, on golf. <laughs> He's looking at running his four rails. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Gene Van Boning obviously wants to get the hill. Seven looks a little bit funny over there. What do you think about that? Yeah. I don't like where it's at. Being so close to the nine, where's where's he gonna bring it up? Yeah. Shane is on the seven. Nice 
shot. Good touch. Eh, it's a little touchy. He wanted to be a little bit straighter in this so he could get past the line of the nine to the hole, but it's a playable lie, as they say. Yeah, you're barely beating me, and I'm going to tie <laughs> it worry, up here. But don't worry, I can't get out. Watch, I'll miss it. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, I think at this point here, Earl doesn't want to win. Is some, do you think he heard me? He said somebody out here called that. Thanks for running your mouth while I'm shooting. Wow. Was it, was it Potts? No, I don't think so. I didn't even hear what they said. Yeah, I don't think uh, Earl can hear me. All right, there you go. He's a little bit of draw, a little bit of left-hand English. Flop it to the side rail. That's cool. Shane Van Downey grabs the hill. You didn't hear him, Jay? You could hear him when I was shooting. <laughs> you don't care either. Well, are, you know, are we going to put the balls back on the table so we can retake the shot because someone said something? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it, girl. Yep. Right now, I think he's uh, barking at the wind. some options here. I'm not quite sure whether he wants to do this, but one of the options is to bank the one to the bottom rail, of course. Let the cue ball run three rails down to the bottom rail here. He's going to have him push it. How did I, I had a feeling he was going to have him push. Yeah. He's going to push it. Let's see how what Earl does. Earl wants to do something great, but there's yeah. nothing there. It's just a safety. That's the way they've been doing it, folks. Has a pretty decent bank shot here. Uh. 
Now the only thing that's left to really say between this victory for Shane is the five ball. He has to be figuring out something to do with the five. He may be able to come down and relocate it, and I doubt he's going to think about the combination. But there's a real chance that he's looking at a bank. Shane might be trying to relocate this ball going off the rail, pocketing the four lower right hand corner here. See if he can move it. Oh, he likes the bank. And he hit position great on that. Yeah, he did. Very nice. Call it a set. Yep. Huh. Oh. What did you just do? <laughs> See, I told you we're going to go to <laughs> Hill Hill. I told you we're going to go Hill Hill. Earl's still got his ears plugged. Yeah, he's sitting in his chair. Well, well. I want to see if I can get some kind of peace of mind before I shoot. <laughs> 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 Earl had his ears plugged. I was playing great, and he just heckled me right out of the match. I could have won this match if I got some consideration. Just a little bit. It's a strange thing to hear a guy talking about the match like he could have won it and he's running out. Right. <laughs> I could have won. I could have been a contender. I was thinking the same thing too. <laughs> All right, 14-13 in favor of Shane Van Bonen. Ten ball on break is not a win on this, is it? Not in the lower, two lower corner pockets. So in other words, the upper left and the upper right hand corner pockets right now. All right. All right, Earl. Get the ten on the break. Gonna have a shot on the one. It's up to Shane if he's going to take it or give it back to Earl. <laughs> well, I, I think it's a plain out miss. So he's got to shoot it, but I, I don't think he's uh, 
even thinking about anything there. He's just thinking about the whole out. Oh, look at this. He knows he just did something mm -hmm. very silly. Mm -hmm. Can he see it? I don't think he can see it. No. I have to get used to, you know, staring at the monitors and determine I can't cheat and look over at the table. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a lot of times we're not even in the same room. He's looking at the rail first, and the one thing I gotta say is he's probably gonna come whipping out of that corner by the three, and I think he will miss it if he if he makes the two. He'll miss the three coming out of the third rail. Well, he's looking at banking that two into the corner, right? Yeah, he'll put a lower left hand corner here. Oh, oh if you hit it thin like that. Well, Earl cannot complain at this point. Nope. At this point here, the complain -a meter has been uh, hit to 10. Earl may have been justified, but at this point here, he needs to shut it off because anybody that gets a shot to make it hill hill and be breaking like this has nothing else to say. So I think what we're going to have to do here is see where that crystal ball is that you had hidden all this time, John. <laughs> well, everybody's getting their money's worth tonight, aren't they? We have to get our assistant to go over and see what the score is here. Oh, what did I say? Hill, hill, didn't I? <laughs> oh, go ahead. Do the I told you so's. Oh, man. I stated so thusly. I am, uh, where am I? I'm six for six. Six for six. You did it all. And Landon Sheffitt has won his match. I didn't get the exact score, but... Uh, how about Rob and Jeremy? I have not got that score on there. I believe we're hearing that it's 15-5 in favor of... Look at this. Let me see. Uh, who, who won that? I did. Oh, okay, 15-5 landed. Do we have an update on the uh, match with Jeremy Jones and Rob Saez? And Earl is on the prowl. Look at that. The, the table is set up like if it was a, you know, practice shots. They're just perfectly laid out, ready for him to knock them all in. Merle has to hit a keyhole here. He, 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 this isn't easy. I, the only thing I can see is a good old-fashioned zigzag. I actually like coming down. Yeah, it sure is, Earl. I like coming down through the 6-4 if you can. He's going to hit into the four and knock it past the nine. And I think they're starting to take their places, ladies and gentlemen. 
he actually has the ability to shoot the four up in the upper left hand corner or lower left hand corner That's not the position that Shane Van Boning fans wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, Shane's pulling off the glove. He yeah, knows he's a, done. Yeah, he needs a he needs a miracle reprieve at this point. In a match that Earl said, you know, I would have won this match <laughs> as he was running out. Mm-hmm. I think Earl's going to follow this ball up and down. I think that's a safe stroke. Come back to the center. Safe stroke, back to the center, and guess what, folks? Real, real good chance that Earl's going to be looking at a 10 ball in about 10 seconds. That's if Shane lets him shoot it. <laughs> There's your winner, Earl Strickland. 15 14. <laughs> he can't believe it. He thinks that Shane handed it to him, but we know different. We watched the shooting. I want to take a, <laughs> I want to take a second to thank our sponsors Viking Cues, Simona's Cloth, Kamui Tips. Cyberts.com, and last but not least, the big sponsor here, Diamond Billiards, for creating these 10-foot Bohemothian tables that are just the talk of the town right now and the tournament that we're playing it on, the 10-foot 10-ball challenge. Thanks, folks. Stay tuned. That's it for right now. We'll have another match coming right back at you in a few minutes between Alex Pagaline. And Darren Appleton, I wanted to take a second and thank my special guest, John Bertone of Kamui Tips. John, thanks, and thanks for making me look like a fool and getting everything right. <laughs> thank you very much, JR. Happy to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. All right. We're out.